Hey, today I wanna to talk about the game-changing techniques behind iconic country bass lines and show you how you can learn them. I'll see you in today's video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar and I'm super excited about today's video because over at ebassguitar.com we have just released our long-awaited Country Jam backing track album. This is an album of 12 country bass backing tracks made especially for you guys bass players. So what makes this album unique is two things. We've taken 12 iconic country bass songs and created backing tracks for them made especially for bass players. These backing tracks are inspired by artists from Johnny Cash through to Patsy Cline through to Shania Twain through to Sheryl Crow and modern guys like Zach Brown and Toby Keith. The second thing is we've used eBay's Guitar's Groove Level System and what this means is we've given you three to four super authentic country bass lines which will work through the whole of each backing track. Across the album of 12 tracks there's over 40 country bass lines that you can learn and discover the secrets of how the top pros create those amazing bass lines. So today I'm going to show you how the groove level system works with one of the tracks in the album called Who's That Man inspired by Toby Keith. Now if you really enjoy what you're hearing today and you want to discover more I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can check out and grab your copy of the Country Jam backing track album. But before we get going in today's lesson, I've got a quick favor to ask you guys. A few weeks back when I was looking at our YouTube statistics, I was shocked to discover that 80% of people who watch the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel regularly are not subscribed to the channel. My goal over the next six months or so is to get this down to 50%. So what does that mean for you guys? If you hit that red button to subscribe to the channel and also the bell icon too, you mean you'll be the first to know when a new lesson goes live, but also it will help us grow the reach of the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel so we can get more great quality bass educational content out there. So if you could hit that red button, it would mean the world. Also, one last thing, there's a completely free PDF which comes with this lesson, so you can see everything we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. There's a link in the description below. So Who's That Woman is inspired by this wonderful Toby Keith song called Who's That Man, which I absolutely love. Now, the first groove level to this is just very simple two root notes before. Now, the world of Instagram and Facebook and YouTube when you generally see bass videos is all about the pyrotechnics, the flashy stuff. Now, not many bass teachers show you how to do this really simple stuff. And believe you me, what I'm just about to show you now is more complex than it looks. So over this 40 bar chord structure, all I'm gonna get you to do today is just play simple root notes like this. One, two, three, five. Now, the thing is, every single bass player is gonna play this very slightly differently, very slightly different note lengths within this, but the note length is absolutely critical. And what I like to do is put a little bit of daylight between each note to get the articulation in there. But the thing, and the important thing here, is to get it really, really, really consistent. So what I'm gonna do now is play the whole of the structure through, really listen out for the consistency of each note, and do not be fooled by the One, simplicity two, of doing three, this.
So let's move on to level two and we're going to ramp the groove up just a little bit and we're going to create this bass line for each individual bar. Sounds like this. One, two, three, fun. <laughs> Now this is just using simple roots and fifths, which are a classic combination in country bass lines. Now, the tendency over this sort of groove is to start rushing. So what I want you to do is rhythmically hold it back. It's almost like you're mentally slowing down a bit. It's kind of a weird thing to get used to, but what this will mean is you'll start to play it really beautifully in time as you get really comfortable One, with this groove. Two, so let's hear what this sounds one, like two, in action. Three. Moving on to level three, we're gonna get a touch more involved again. Now, we've already discovered the root and the fifth are best friends in country music. Now, the next best friend to that particular bass line is adding in the octave. So this is all about the root, the fifth, and the octave. And this is what the bass line sounds like in isolation. run this throughout the whole of the chord sequence. I like to put a little bit of daylight in between the first and the second note and also try again to hold it back a little bit and this means you won't rush and it will sit beautifully in time. So let's hear level One, three two, with the backing three, track. Four. backing tracks so you are welcome to do whatever you like over them they are a vehicle to learn and experiment so with level four we're pushing the boat out a little bit more here and we're going to integrate a bass line which uses the ninth and it sounds like this so that is root fifth ninth octave and then back with the fifth and that takes us round in a loop like that now there are two or three different bits of articulation you can do with this is you could put some slides in this now a common thing bass players do is slide into the ninth so again and 
the slide there. Or you could slide into the fifth. That's the second note. Or like what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and play this really, really cleanly like this. Like so. This is a challenge in itself to play throughout the whole track. So let me show you what level four sounds Two, like three, in action. Guys, that's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. And if you've enjoyed it, make sure you check out the Country Jam backing track album. There's a link in the description below where you can listen to a sample of all of the 12 tracks which are on the album and find out more about it. And of course, if you like it and you love it, please make sure you grab your copy of the Country Jam backing track album. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I will catch you next week.